Spitting off a plate full of coincidences, a random dish of assorted things happening to me by good luck or bad karma. Don't have expectations, he said. Just live with the bare minimum and draw as little attention to yourself so that if you fail, at least it was private. Lear says he knows what's best for me, but I'm starting to think he's a pathological liar. It's how he walks me into the museum of my mistakes so I can revisit, recycle, and rehearse my regrets, convincing me to hate where I was, question where I am, and faint at the mere mention of where I will be. And is it just me, or does fear always have us looking without and never within? It's like being enough is a concept he says is external, yet he himself doesn't have a physical body. He's leveraging on mine. You see, fear is a spirit that knows how to live from the inside out. He expresses himself first inside our heads and not as a boogeyman under our beds. So why does he speak to me about the things I can see with my naked eyes, but never with God's eyes? Fear doesn't reason with faith. In his religion, he's God. Fear demands that I Ask him for permission when I start something new. But you know what's funny? He always says no. I wonder why I ask him. Fear keeps me from the delivery room when I'm about to give birth to something. Does that sound familiar to you? New business, new relationship. He He's the alibi in the crime scenes of our aborted dreams. Give me a minute so I can insert murderer to his criminal records. This guy is a disease. Fear makes time my enemy. Talking about, are you sure you want to do this? Aren't you too old? You started too late. Look at where everyone else is. Are you really going to do this? What will your kids say? What will your mother say? What will your friends say? Fear. Talking about how I was born his type of way. To live his type of way. To die his type of way. Fear. I am not your type. I, I'm not, I'm not your type. So leave my heel the hell alone. I am not Eve. You will not drag me behind. I am born of God, kin to second Adam. You leave my heel the hell alone. The bag that I've packed that's missing your set of clothes is the bag I love to carry the most. So take your seat in the back of the vehicle, please. This engine is about to kick off at full speed. And know this, I am committed to my growth, no matter how slow. Mm -hmm.